I don't even know how to start this video, so I'm just going to start by saying Cappuccino has died. Yep, it's another joke. I just arrived here in the dark den and I got suspicious because the food that I left him yesterday, it was still outside. So I thought that maybe he escaped or something. So I was searching around trying to find him and thankfully Dark Den doesn't have a lot of stuff inside. So it is kind of easy to move everything on the, that is on the ground level. So if he was outside, I would certainly find him, but I couldn't find him. So I thought that maybe when I was going outside of the Dark Den through these doors, sometimes I leave the door open. And I thought that if he was outside, maybe he escaped through the door outside in the outside of the Dark Den. But I decided to uh, remove the roof on his house. You know, the, the roof is not removable. I glued everything together so there wasn't an easy way for me to just open his house and check if he is inside. So then eventually I decided to just remove his, just rip open his roof to see if he is inside and if, to make sure that he actually escaped. But unfortunately he was inside of his house, appeared to be sleeping, but unfortunately he wasn't sleeping. So I still didn't move him. We are going to now remove him from his enclosure together, I guess. Yeah. So you see, this is the first thing that got me worried. This is his food and this is what I left him yesterday. So I was confused why it's still on top and how come he didn't gather everything. So I thought that maybe he actually jumped from this edge to this edge on glass and just got out. Because this is potential the distance that he could reach, although this glass is really slippery, so I always thought that even if he manages to grab it, he won't be able to hold it and he would just fall down on the on the substrate, but no, unfortunately. I'm now going to show you where he is, but I first need this additional light because inside it is kind of dark. I'm just gonna place this here and hopefully that will, that will be enough. So Cappuccino is, you see, there he is. It seems like he's just sleeping, but unfortunately that is not the case. So I'm just going to rip this roof apart to make the access a bit easier. And I will try to get him. Oh, this is so sad. Oh, cappuccino. So sad, he's already hardened, so I assume this, this happened during night. But he just looks like he's asleep, like he will wake up anytime now. <laughs> this is so stupid. I hate it how, how this happens. I really don't know what to say. On the outside it doesn't appear that anything is wrong with him. I don't see any anything wrong. Yeah, it just appears that he died in his sleep and I think that that is a nice thing at least. Not a nice thing, but if you need to go at least it is nice to just fall asleep and that that is it. I will assume that he died from natural cause because I had him for a year and two months and he already appeared to be an adult when I received him because he didn't really grow much from when I got him. But I don't really know how old he was when I got him. So I will never know for sure, but the only thing that I know, I tried my best to give him the best possible care that I could give him. And I don't really think that anything is wrong with my setup or with food that I was feeding him or anything. I truly hope so that that's the case, but it really makes me feel bad that this happens. And it, it happens so, so quickly and so out of the blue. Since he always seems so active and friendly, I thought that he will eventually slow down and that will give me the signs that his end is drawing near, but he was just, you know, I featured him in last video that was recorded like three days ago from me recording this video. And that was actually the last time that I that I saw him and you also have seen that moment. So at least there's that, I don't know. To be honest, if I wasn't recording the video, I probably would be crying a bit right now because I feel so bad. I generally dislike when YouTubers cry on camera because it seems so fake and I don't know, usually forced. But he was an awesome hamster and I really, really, really liked him. I think that we will do now one time jump because I want to bury him and now currently it is dark outside so I won't be able to record that. Or actually let me dig out his house and we will make like a casket out of it and then tomorrow I will dig up a hole outside and bury him. 
Yeah, the second. Yeah, I'll just put him inside and take some sort of rug to cover him. Unfortunately, I don't have a hot glue gun here. It is at my home, so I cannot use it, but I think this will be fine. Actually, I changed my mind. I won't be using this. I will just put him inside of this burlap and that should be more than enough. He will no longer interrupt any video and I will definitely miss that. I need the scissors. And you know what is also the worst thing? As I was driving here to the dark den, I didn't really know what I will record for this video. I was thinking like, ah, probably something happened and I will record and make video out of it. And now this, the worst thing, the worst possible thing. And when things like this happen, I really sometimes wish that I'm not making these videos so I could just do this privately and in peace. I don't know. I really don't like this. Making a content out of some sad thing like this one. But, but I need to tell you because, I mean, he is my pet, but he's also all of your pet. Yeah. Definitely. Now let's do a time jump. I already dug out a hole outside, so we are quickly going to bury him and then I will do some other stuff. I will talk about it in a second. This is where the hole is. You see, I dug it up right outside of the dark den. And I'm going to put the camera here and record how I'm uh, burying him there because people are walking outside, so I don't want it to be weird with the camera. Yeah, you will see it clearly from here. Now I also brought this piece of wood that I want to cut. I want to write cappuccino on top together with a year and put it on a tree that is behind his grave. Just so it is, so there is some sort of marking and in case some of you want to visit cappuccino and thank him for all the entertainment that he provided in last year, uh, you will know where exactly he is. I need a jigsaw. Here it is. Now I will use the, how is this called? Something iron, soldering iron. I will use that to write his name. I think that it will be, it will last longer like that because this tip gets really hot and it will just burn the letters in the wood. It will be better. There we go. It doesn't look bad, but I kind of expected for it to be a bit easier to, to draw it because I have seen what people are drawing with this stuff and they are making like amazing pictures and everything, but it looks all right. Right? Well, let's put it, let's drill it on the wood. On the actual tree, I mean. Okay, now currently it is really busy outside because it is close to 3 p.m. and people are going uh, home from work. So we are going to do one time jump. Let's go outside now. As you see, rain was falling outside. So that is actually a good thing because almost no one is around. And even the sky is crying for cappuccino. Um, here he is. This will be his resting place. You see, this is his grave and this is the marking. And just in case you stumble here, this is the dark den. And you can see it here. And that's my friend. So there is that and I already miss him so much. Now this is the perfect opportunity to say that I already said that I will announce the new address for fan mails and fan packages. Uh, it will be now written in the about section on the Dark Den website. The link is in the description. And that is the actual Dark Den's address. So if you want to visit Cappuccino, now you know where you can do that. And also I've been working on the Felix enclosure, check it out. Slowly but surely it is getting there. I think that in a week or so it will be ready. Now, what else to say? Nothing. Long live the cappuccino in our memory. Bye.